From year to year, month to month, week to week, and day to day, people across the world are obsessed with a phenomenon that is professional wrestling. But why? 101 Reasons to Love Professional Wrestling There are many components of professional wrestling that should be both understood and celebrated, in no particular order. Bitter Rivals It is a natural instinct to be competitive, and with that comes rivalries. It happens between countries that do not get along. The Bible featured Cain and Abel, two brothers who became rivals. There are battling brands like Coca-Cola and Pepsi, or McDonald's and Burger King. In sports, how much fun would it really be if there weren't bitter rivals? It is that competitive rivalry that has just that little bit more passion and hatred. In the ever so passionate world of professional wrestling, there have been many bitter rivals. The first bitter rivals like George Hackenschmidt and Frank Gotch were mainly rivals because they were both big box office draws that held on to the top championships. Then as theatrics came into play, the storyline contraption of a feud could become a bitter rivalry based on how well it was remembered and how well the performers pulled it off. Terry Funk and Dusty Rhodes made the world cringe at the carnage each man would inflict on each other. Storied rivalries like Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, Ric Flair and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels, and many, many more would have rivalries that would be hard to not consider bitter. These are the big matches that fill the arenas full of people get them to order pay-per-views, and creates the folklore that is professional wrestling. And that's just the stuff in front of the camera. Like any industry, there is gonna be conflict behind the scenes. And this has provided wrestling fans with a whole other world of bitter rivals. Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. Bret Hart and Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon and Ted Turner, Vince Russo and Jim Cornette, Hulk Hogan and self-respect. These rivalries don't end with a scripted show. There are people who just don't like each other, screwed each other over, or who are just in direct competition. In a perfect world, everybody gets along behind the scenes, but they just don't. Professional wrestling fans have proved one thing, Inquiring minds always want to know. Then there are times where the behind the scenes heat is turned into a storyline, and eventually everything is okay. Fun times. There are points in a wrestler's career when a feud gets so heated that fans just automatically assume that that rivalry would last forever. If you see Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan in the ring, you always expect one to attack the other. If Vince McMahon and Steve Austin are ever in the ring together, under any circumstance, it would be expected to see Austin drop him with a stunner. Sure, there is a level of mutual respect, but as a fan, it's not hard to anticipate the worst. And that's the legend of hate that will always fill arenas.